Welcome to my house, Buck here. In this episode of Fishkin with Uncle Buck, we're headed over to Italy. We're gonna fish the Tiber River. <clears throat> I like that river. A lot of a lot of good place, a lot of good holes over there to fish. So it's a lot of fun. We'll have a lot of fun. There's a lot of places. Uh, um, it, it's got kind of everything. It's got deep holes. It's got flows. It's got shallow parts to it. So we get to use all of our techniques and talents that we've learned so far to catch ourselves some fisk. So what we're going after, this is a level 20 lake. And you should be somewhere around level 30, 20 in your late 20s here, if you're hitting this guy for the first time, if you're doing it right. I mean, if you're if you're a level 20 guy and you're just getting here, good, good luck. <laughs> um, that's not what I recommend. I, you should always be a little bit, a little bit heavier like you want your sticks a little heavier than the waterways you're going in for we're going after a couple of, no no real big fish on this one um some of the trout are real nice now we can latch into now i've latched into some trophy wells catfish in here so i am bringing them you know level 29 pole big stick so let's get started with that <clears throat> exploration we got a couple of explorations here we're doing we're doing exploration one exploration two we're doing a trout mission which is excellent there's some nice trout in this river um, and then we're doing the uh, the monster mission is there where you gotta and that's one thing I want to remember remind you guys make sure you got at least five slots in your ta in your backpack because we got to catch and keep five hunks of dark horn wart and uh, there's not a lot of vegetation in this river so there that's that's a little bit of a tough thing to do if you don't know where the vegetation is so again. You know, that's some of the things we talked about, like in the last video, um, we talked about the four ways, the four ways to find fish. You got location, you got eyesight, you got reading the water, like we've been doing all through the series, um, learning how to read the water, and then of course you have electronics. <clears throat> well, in this series of videos, we're going to do three of them, and, and then this time, at this point in, in when I started playing the all, uh, uh, the ultimate fishing planet here uh, when I started playing this I realized at this point you couldn't catch the monsters twice and I wanted to make videos on this stuff I wanted to teach people how to fish uh, utilizing this platform which I, I hope you guys are having a lot of fun with that and I hope you're utilizing it and trying to incorporate that and going out there and learning how to fish if you don't fish and hopefully you've learned a couple of because this this shit works out there too for real Anyway, so I I haven't caught this monster fisher yet, so that'll be the first time here for us. So we'll we'll get to we'll get to make a mission one, we'll get to make a mission two, exploration two, we'll get to do the trout mission, and then we'll get to go ahead and go ahead and uh, go together and catch that monster fish that's over here. Um, now with him, he's uh, he's actually not a monster; he's a small guy. I did my homework on him, so. Um, they, the, the line that we're going to get, the special line that we need to catch this guy, he's a, he's a grayling, a European grayling, a type of grayling, and um, it's six pound test, so you got to have some ultralight gear, so we're going to make sure you, you, you take an ultralight setup, because it's six pound test, the line, the special line that we're going to get, and that's what we have to use to fish for this guy. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and move ahead. Let's see what kind of weapons we're going to take on this guy. We're going over to the Tiber River. We're going to Italy, level 20. Inventory. We're in the end. We're choosing our weapons right now. The first guy in our number one, we're going to take our ultralight. And again, that's our, <clears throat> that's our night flight, our, our night feather. He's he's a level 12 with the Inspire Slim Advanced, level 12 bolt. Uh, in the second slot, we're going to take our Nero 1210 with the Bremer. 4,000. Um, that guy there, the Nero, he is a. Where's my Where's my Nero at? He's a number. He's a level 15 pole with the Bremers and number 20. We got 12 pound test on him. And then for our third pole, we're gonna go with our Farcaster, the 77. Now he's got the Hilo 2000 S on him. Now that's a 23 pole and a 22 reel levels. All right. And the all around. <clears throat> we got him, that's our all around 1210 level 16 with the Inspira ML2500 and we can run a 12 pound test on that guy. Okay, slot 5, we're running the all around advance, that's level 16 pole. 
That's got a uh, the force feeder. That's a level 17 reel on that. And we're running 10 pound test on him. Then we're running our big alley. 1310 sport. That's a level 20 pole. We're running the big river 6000 sport on that. That's a level 27 reel. Now that one there I got beefed up a little bit. He's an 18 pound reel. I'm running 19 pound test on him. So he, he's, be, he's beefed up a little bit right there. And then of course... I don't know <clears throat> what size of them, some of them wells catfish we get into. We're going to take this guy along and make it a little easier to yank him in there and get a few in rather quickly there. And of course, that's our Arctics. We're looking at a level 29 pole there with the Euro double punch. Now, I got him beefed up a little bit. He's a, uh, let's get that right there. He, oh, come on, get us out there so we see them both. There we are. He's a 24 2 pole. Uh, on our uh, reel on there uh, 25 pound test on on the rod so I run 25 pound test line he's a, beef, beefed him up a little bit there won't hurt that reel one bit all right so that takes care of all of our weapons let's take care of our ammo what kind of ammo are we taking for these guys well we're taking normally <clears throat> what we what we want to take all the time for our panfish so we're going to take our dough balls seminilla red worms crickets um up here grasshoppers and some small minnows are going to work for us over here now again remember we got to go for all three missions and the big guy even though he's not a real big guy but the monster so we got to be here for the whole time we don't want to lose any money um so we got to bait up for the five days that it's going to take us here three days however much we have to stay uh to make our money up you know, because we got our travel costs. What were our travel costs for this guy? We had 7,500 in travel, 4,000 for a license. So there's 11,500 for that one. Uh, now I, for me to bait up now this time around, it cost me $12,470. <laughs> now I didn't buy all this bait. You guys understand? I, I bought what I thought was adequate for the four days that I have to be there um, to, to get the missions done and to make enough money um, to be in. In the black and not in the red so I spent uh, I spent 11 grand 11 uh, 12 12 grand on, on bait so I gotta I gotta make 23 970 to break even that, that breaks me even and then anything above and beyond that's of course in my pocket so that's what we're shooting for there so we got our ammo now our ammo is another thing that's like I said uh, and for the bigger guys, we're going to take some duck muscle over there. We're going to take some large cut bait, large minnows, medium medium cut bait. The eels, small and medium cut bait for that. Uh, we got to go for the European eel over there because that's our that's our second one. Uh, we're going for the European eel, the common barbel, the common carp, the Wells cat, and the ass. Now we've got a lot of these we may catch in the first mission uh, because where we're going to where we're going to fish. I fished a lot of this river, so I know it pretty well. Uh, we'll catch a lot of these guys all up and down the uh, up and down the river, but we're gonna we're gonna spawn in everywhere. I'm not gonna use a boat, and and we're gonna catch everything we need to catch on the bank. In case some of you guys ain't quite got a boat yet, uh, it's much nicer with a boat. I'm gonna do a couple of videos about the drift techniques that you can do in this river because the flow is so nice. You can drop in with a nice rubber motor boat in here and uh, drift and just grab chub after chub after chub all the way down the river. All right. So we got our ammo, we got that, we know what we're doing, we got our weapons, we got that. Let's go check our garage, make sure that we've got everything that we need, ah, fish net. Now, here, again I want to talk about, I want to emphasize about this fish net stuff. stuff. Fish nets are very expensive to fix, and unfortunately you need big fish nets to make big money. So the thing that you kind of got to balance out, um, with your with your gear and, and your fish nets are included because like on this river I fish all day long and it and I can catch fish all day long and I've never really done better than about 220 to 250 pound of fish in a day so I don't need to take a, a, a sack that holds 550 pounds of fish and beat that up because the cost of beating up that big expensive fish net is a lot of money so I want to try to fine-tune like I say when you balance your equipment you balance your rods and your reels and your line you want to balance 
the rest of your gear when you're when you're in the garage and it's your last step out before you head out for that fishing trip make sure you got the right gear here um <clears throat> the right boat for for the trip um so we're going to take this is a small river we don't need a big bass boat on this there, there's no reason for it so we we, we grabbed the we grabbed a smaller maneuverable uh, and this guy here is beautiful because <laughs> i'm going to do a video about trolling with this thing but <clears throat> For now, I'll show you how to drift fish with this. This is a beautiful thing to do. But here, the best I could do, like I said, was about 250 pounds. So I keep I keep a couple of fish nets in here. Um, the bit, one of the other main things is, is how big of a fish, because you've, you've got to make sure that the single fish weight is big enough for something, one of the big guys that you catch. If you're going to go after a uni, you got to make sure you can get him in boat. So on this one here, the, the biggest fish I ever caught, I'm, I'm safe with what I feel. And I'm going to go with here the, fi the Fish Ford L. Uh, that's 264 pounds. Uh, I've never caught anything bigger than 44 pounds in this river. Not even the Wells catfish. 30 pounds is about the biggest as I've caught in there. Trophy Wells. Now I'm sure I, I, I hope you land one I can't get in this net. That'll make me feel good. But that's the one we're going to take with us this time. Holds enough weight. And if I beat it up, it doesn't cost me as much as one of my big guys. All right, so I think we're good. We got ourselves a, a rod stand, a fish net. We got the boats we need, our rods. We're good there. Now, final check. We got ourselves a license. Now, you guys, if you ain't got a license yet, get yourself a license. I'm going to meet you over there. We're going to head over to the Tiber River. And we're going to get this rodeo started. Let's see what kind of a day we're looking at for day one. We got a nice big peak. We have no rain. We don't have much of a change in the barometer for, oh, the first three days. It's going to be a little rough over there, fellas, but I know the river pretty well. There's a lot of stuff along the banks and shit. We'll dig them up. We'll get them out. So get yourself a license, and I will see you over in Italy on the Tiber River. Well, here we are at the Tiber. We've got a lot of places we can spawn in. As you can see, this is a fairly, fairly large river. Um, let's take a quick look at what we've got over here on each one. Um, Christian Common Roads, Christian Carp, European Perch, Child Bath. Quite a bit of what we're looking for in our first mission. At the Boat Dock, at Twisty Tiber, Common Clearing Barber, Roach Ash. A little bit of the same thing, not quite as much as there. Now this here, I know this is a good spot over here on this river, the Breezy Bridge. And over there we can get the carp, the catfish, the eel, and the barbel is a nice spot. And that is a very good spot for the barbel. We may have to go over there to grab him. This is one of my favorite spots over here. This is the float and feeder heaven. We'll check this guy out for sure. There's some big wells cat over there, the common carp, and eels are over there. Crucian carp's also over there. A lot of trout are over there. They don't even mention that here, which is... <laughs> It, it's it's one of the secrets and, um, th these trout sit right off of this old dam right here huge marble trout trophy marble trout and I've got I got boys up there so we'll take a look at that and again over here this is the rocks the Tiber rocks I think this is pretty much where we're gonna end up where we catch our grayling that's probably where, where we're gonna hunt for the monster over there um, <clears throat> a lot of the, a lot of trout sit over in there so we'll hit that guy over there and again this guy up on this end steaming beauty and he's a bunch of he's a bunch of chop and chub too but we'll catch the chub over on the other side of the bridge so with that let's go ahead i think we're going to jump in here first and see how much of these panfish we can grab up real quick so i will jump in and we'll see you in just a bit okay we just spawned in here we're going to come up to the water right here, take a look at what we got. We've got a couple of trees over there. I hate when they put that pole out. Let me decide when I want a damn pole out there. All right. Didn't mean to get goofy. Oh. Oh, what we got down there? All right, we've got some trees in the water over there. That looks pretty promising now, doesn't it? You know what? I can see by what's going on. I didn't pick a private room. So we might have, we might have company today, folks, but I ain't changing it right now. It doesn't look like anybody's going to be in our way or sh shaking their bait in our face. So let's go ahead and get a rod stand down here. We'll see what we can grab out of here real quick. 
That looks pretty good. Alright, we got some small minnows, and I don't want no floaters yet. Let's put him back away. Put him away. Let's go to our inventory. I think we want, first thing we want out here, there we go. No, 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 no. We want four, five, and six. We want to place our feeders out real quick. We've got dough balls on them, four. Uh, we've got grasshoppers on five. And we got red worms on six. And we're going to get them in the water first. Because there's a lot of flow in this river. So, um, the, the float rods are a little bit difficult to fish because you got to fish them with flow. And they're going to float and they're going to move and they're going to cover a lot of ground. So we're going to start with four, five, and six. So let's get four, five, and six in, in the water and then I'll be right back. All right, we got four, five, and six in the water. And now uh, we've got our Nero. We got a float here. We got dough balls on him. And he's a favorite of some of the main fish that we're looking for right away. So we're going to basically use the river for him for right now. And we're going to float him out here just a little bit. I didn't look. Sorry. Let's get him back in here before anything goes wrong. What is our depth? Let's make sure we're at 41 inches. That's actually pretty good. Well, that was pretty good there. Let's put him away for a second and, and see who's bugging us here. Somebody wants to dance with Uncle Buck. So let's get this one out of the way first. Uh-oh, easy, Buck. My God, it's a little tiny fish. What the hell? What we got there? there? Oh, there's our chub right off the bat. So, gotta love that. All right, we'll keep him. Let me cross him off. Now, I got my crib notes going here, folks, because you know I've already did these, and that's why I'm tracking... The only mission I got live up there is the dark hornwort. So when we get to that, so I got to use crib notes until we get almost through this mission. Let's keep this guy. Let's get him back in the water. Now I'm not throwing very far out there at all. Uh, right now I'm using number eight hooks, as you can see up there. These are, this was just a grasshopper. I just threw him right out here in the middle. Um, I'm looking for panfish right now. So that's what we're doing with these guys. Now let's get our Nero back out because he had our dough balls on it. We were about to throw him right in here and let him float down in front of us and see what we can snatch up with him. So let's see how we do with that. All right, he's in the water. Let's see what happens. All right, we got another dance partner back on our grasshoppers. Let's see what we got on this thing playing this time. And there's our common roach. So we'll get him knocked off the list. Uh, common roach, he was right there. Got him. All right, we'll keep him. Get that right back out in the water again. Out there, in the, that's a pretty strong fall out there. All right, and as you can see, our bobber's floating down with our dough balls in front of us. We're going to continue to float him. Now, a little truck, fellas. Since we're sitting here and it's just about that time. Now, for you guys that are fishermen, you know this. But for my guys that are following me and, they're, and, and we're learning this stuff together because we're just beginning fishermen, that's right, aren't we now? Now, in this game, that bobber's going to start to lay it over like he is right now. You take your mouse wheel, roll that down backwards, and go ahead and crank, crank. Let some line out. Let that thing go. Every so often, just so you keep that bobber up and down, this river, this is drift fishing. We do this in the real world. And you fishermen know that. And you give it a little more line. Let it flow. Let the river, let the river do the work for you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hit these channels and later on we'll get to talk about feed channels and that's what i want to talk about here are the five basic requirements and we're going to talk about the, this throughout the whole series that fish need and that's why in this series we're going to talk about locating fish by their habits because they have habits because they have five basic requirements and and it varies among species and they and they also have that one time a year urge to to travel to spawn but, I mean, basically, they need sufficient oxygen. They need adequate protection. They need reasonable comfort. 
and they need abundant food. Those, can I get five? Sufficient oxygen, suitable temperature, adequate protection, reasonable comfort, abundance in food. That's it. We're running out of line over here. So, now remember, before you start cranking, you're going backwards. So change your mouse wheel up so it comes to you. There we go. We're going to just basically turn around, throw him out a little further now. We'll pick a spot out there in the middle. Now, uh, since we're going in the middle, let's drop him down about to 48 inches, 4 feet. We'll hit him out there at 4 feet. Get him in the middle. And watch him float and wait for these other guys. So that's what we're going to talk about in this series. And these are these are how you're going to locate fish by their habits because they, they need that. Now, if you have rivers, back in the old days, a lot of the waterways were polluted and there, and there wasn't these environmental protection restrictions on large corporations and they dumped all kind of shit into our waterways and they killed a lot of our fish. So now there's protection. So the, there's not, you know, the, the, the rivers and streams are, are coming back and they're not polluted. So, you know, the, the sufficient oxygen is becoming less of an issue as we keep our waterways cleaner and cleaner. Because the things that do this naturally, like in a lot of reservoirs, the big reservoirs, they, they pump it. They do springs, they do fountains that pump and put oxygen into the water for the fish. Because the water, you know, it's, the, water, the air is dissolved in that water. And then the fish, by the action of their gills, they get oxygen out of that, and that's how they live. And they need that oxygen to live. So, and natural streams and flowing over brooks and rocks and waterfalls, that creates that aeration. So there's never an issue about, you're always going to find fish if you've got highly oxygenated, oxidated water. And so you got you need suitable temperatures. Is it the right temperature for them? And we talked about that in the very beginning videos about your prime conditions and your zones. There we go. All right, let's change spots with this guy, see who he is. He's knocking. What do we got here? These are some red worms on him. Oh, easy buck. And there's our European perch. He's a little and kind of dark for a European perch. But we needed him, so we can knock him off the list. That's good. Got him on red worms. And we'll throw this guy out. Maybe we'll throw him out a little bit further right about there where our bobber's floating. See what we get out there. Well, we should be able to grab all these guys up out of here, according to what they told us. But I'm your guide on this river. I've been on this river a while. And uh, we can catch all of our panfish right here that we need. So throughout this series, we're going to talk more in depth about these five basic requirements of fish and why they have to do these things and why when you find out these requirements and understand them it makes you a better fisker person because you can eliminate like i said everything is not about finding the fish good luck with that if you think you're 100 percent accurate what we try to do is as anglers is eliminate where the fish are not and if you can do that the more of those spots you eliminate the more successful you become and we got somebody wanting to dance on the dance floor with our red worms. Where are we out on our video here? 24 minutes. I don't think we completed this mission yet. Come on, somebody help me out here. Well, there's the young Wells cat. Like I said, we can catch a lot of fish here, but he's in uh, expiration too. But we're going to mark him off the damn list. We got him. We're going to be here the whole time. They'll mark it off when you pull up the next mission. If you, we've caught that guy here, they'll mark him off. So we'll just throw him right back down here again. And see what we can grab next out of here. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Like I said, we're going to continue on at the appropriate times here. And we're going to talk more about these five basic requirements that fish have. For now... We'll wait till we get another bell ringer. And we've got our Crucian Carp. Picked him up there. Now we got him on red worms. Right out in front of me. We can get him off the list. 
All we need now is that little critter. The smallest one of all is going to be the toughest one of all. We need the European bitterling at this point. And we've got the right bait on for him. We're in the right spot. So we'll get back in order and we'll get him out here too. Well, we managed to grab ourselves a common barbel. He was a on the other mission too <clears throat> that we needed for him but we grabbed him out of here and we'll grab a couple more of them during mission two but we we can knock him off actually off the list we got him and i got him right out here he's eating my red worms right in front here he's a bad bad boy but we're back out we just need that one little guy and he's the smallest some mm, yeah smallest fish in the dang river we'll get him and there we got him guys look at the size of that monster huh <laughs> finally 0 0.303 pound the European bitterling I guess that's a good eating pan fish over there to me that's bait but we got him so well, that completes our first mission over in Italy at the Tiber River. We got all the fish that we needed there. We managed to pull up that little bitter leg there right at the end. So, <clears throat> that was a good thing. Now, we're going to start off here kind of at, at, at the second mission. Um, the carp's in there. We just didn't have, we, we didn't fish for the carp bait. So, we're probably going to start there real quick before we move up to the bridge. See if we can't snag that carp up real quick. But, anyway... We got to talk a little bit about the four or the five basic requirements of fish and we got to talk a little bit about the first one and that was having sufficient oxygen where they needed to be and uh, when we move into the second one we're going to talk about the next two uh, suitable temperature and we talked about that in uh, our the last two videos prior falcon i believe falcon and uh, rocky lake those those videos if you check them out we talk a little more in depth on the, the ideal temperature and temperature range and the thermal climax. So, good deal there. All right, guys, we got this one done. We'll see you in a little bit on the next round. We're still all baited up for everything we need, and now we're going to go ahead and head into expert. You know, I think we'll probably go do the trout first. And then because of the way the river flows and where the trout are, we'll probably hit the trout up and and then go from there um, we're going to stay up here though I want to show you where uh, where we're going to catch up some of the other fish up here that um, in the second in the second mission um, which are the um, asp yeah the asp we need in there and the European eel and that's over down that's down by the bridge so we're going to save those guys for the last one all right we'll see you in the next one Catch you soon. Thanks for joining us. And if you like this one here, if it helped you out in the first video, go ahead. Remember, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And we're moving forward. And we'll see you for the next mission. Thanks for watching.